Hello everyone, welcome. Welcome back to Storytime. Today's feature title is Alibaba and the 40 Thieves. Once upon a time, a poor woodcutter named Alibaba lived in a town in Persia with his wife and son. Each day, Alibaba took his donkey to a nearby forest and cut wood to sell in town. Wow, look at all that wood. As he worked in the forest one day, Alibaba heard the thundering sounds of hooves, horses' hooves, coming toward him. Worried that the riders were robbers, he led his donkey up a pile of rocks so they wouldn't be seen. From his hiding place, Alibaba counted 40 men. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. By the fine clothes they wore and the swords they carried, he was certain. He was certain they were thieves. The riders tied up their horses by a pile of boulders. One man, one man stepped forward wearing such fine clothes that Ali Baba was sure, so sure he was the captain of the thieves. Open sesame, he shouted. With that, a large rock rolled aside, revealing a hidden cave. <gasps> Look inside. The men stepped inside and the rock rolled back into place, sealing the secret opening behind them. <gasps> wow. Ali Baba was astonished. He was very curious, very curious about the cave, but decided to stay hidden until it was safe. After some time, the thieves came out carrying bags that looked quite heavy and loaded them onto their horses. After they rode away, Ali Baba climbed down from his perch. Ooh, I wonder what he's going to discover in that cave. Let's go find out. Ali Baba, Ali Baba walked over to the rocks and shouted, Open Sesame! just as the captain had done. The rock door rolled aside, revealing a cave full of treasure. There were heaps of glittering coins and jewelry, piles of luxurious silks and rugs and beautiful candelabras and statues. It was just dazzling. Ali Baba stepped inside and the door closed behind him. Worried, worried that the robbers would return, he quickly gathered some of the gold coins, taking as much as his donkey could carry. When he was ready to go, he said, Open Sesame! And the door opened again. As Ali Baba hurried away, a single coin fell from his bag. Bing! But he was such in a hurry that he didn't notice it lying in the sun. Ali Baba and his wife used the money to open up a shop. They hired a clever, loyal girl named Morgiana to help them at home and work in the store with their son. Ali Baba gave everyone a fair price and the townspeople were happy to shop there. Meanwhile, when the band of thieves returned to the cave, the captain noticed something shiny on the ground. It was, it was the very coin that Ali Baba had dropped some days before. Realizing that someone had discovered the cave and its treasures, he instructed his men to go into town and find out, find out if anyone had recently become rich. In the town square, one thief overheard some women talking about Ali Baba's shop. Wali Baba has the best merchandise, said the first woman. Yes, said the other woman. And I've always wondered, I've always wondered how the woodcutter managed to open his own shop. The thief couldn't believe it. Was it possible? Was it possible that Ali Baba had visited the secret cave? He might have used the gold to open up his shop. That evening, the thief hid outside the shop, 
and waited until Morgiana left. He sneakily followed her to Ali Baba's house and then marked the door with chalk and hurried off to tell the captain that he had found Ali Baba. The thief thought, the thief thought he had been quite clever, but little did he know that Morgiana had seen him. Sure, sure that he was up to no good, she decided to trick him. After he left, she took a piece of chalk and marked all the houses on the street. Late that night, the, the thieves rode into town. When they reached Ali Baba Street, they were shocked to see all the doors marked with chalk. Furious, they went back to the cave to make a new plan. <laughs> I guess they didn't see that coming. A few evenings later, the captain disguised himself as a merchant. Uh-oh. He went to Ali Baba's store, happy to find Ali Baba there. Hello, good sir, he said. I have some oil, some oil to sell at the market tomorrow morning, but I have nowhere to sleep tonight. Do you have room? Do you have room in your home for a humble merchant and his donkeys? Ali Baba looked at the line of donkeys with barrels strapped to their backs and kindly invited the man to spend the night at his house. Little did he know that the barrels did not contain oil. Instead, a thief was hiding in each one. Oh no. The captain of the thieves followed Ali Baba home, bringing the donkeys into the yard. He bent down beside each barrel and whispered to his men, when you hear the sign, when you hear my signal, leap out of the barrels and we'll get our revenge on Ali Baba. Later that night, after everyone else had gone to bed, Morgiana's lamp ran out of oil. She went into the yard to fetch some from the merchant's barrels, knowing that Ali Baba would pay for whatever she took. As Morgiana approached the nearest barrel, a voice came out. Is it time? Is it time, Master? Morgiana was shocked, shocked, but reacted quickly. Not yet, but soon, she answered. She hurriedly gathered some straw and laid it beside each barrel. She lit the straw on fire with a torch, oh! causing clouds of smoke to fill the barrels. The thieves began coughing <coughs> and choking. Afraid of being burned, they jumped out of the barrels and ran far, far, far away. <coughs> Morgiana quietly put out the fire and went back inside. A short time later, she heard the phony merchant calling from his window. When his men did not respond, he went to check the barrels. He was shocked to discover, he was shocked to discover them empty. Furious, he snuck away to hatch another plan. I wonder what he's gonna think of next. In the morning, Ali Baba wondered. He wondered where the merchant had gone. Morgiana showed him the empty barrels and explained all that had happened in the night. And then this happened, and yeah, and then I, and then I turned on the fire, and then, and then. She also told him about the chalk mark on the door, sure that it was related. Ali Baba was very thankful. Oh, very thankful for what she had done. Meanwhile, the captain was outraged outraged that his band of thieves had run off. He was more determined than ever to get revenge on Ali Baba. He hatched a new plan. He would open a shop across from Ali Baba's store and spend time befriending Ali Baba and his family until he finally had a chance for revenge. <laughs> and so the captain of the thieves disguised himself again and began using the name Korgia Hassan. He opened his shop across the street from Ali Baba and acted very kindly toward him. After some time, Ali Baba invited Korgia Hassan over for dinner. While they dined, 
Morgiana began to feel suspicious of Cordia Hassan. Hmm. There was something familiar about him, but she couldn't quite put her finger on it. Just then, he leaned over and Morgiana saw a dagger stashed in his robe. Oh, she realized that he was the captain of the thieves and he'd come to hurt Ali Baba. Oh no! Morgiana hatched her own plan to stop the scoundrel from hurting Ali Baba and his family. Calling for a servant to play music, she began to dance, waving a long, flowy scarf in front of her. As she danced around the table, Morgiana kept a watchful eye on Cordia Hassan. When she stepped behind him, she quickly wrapped the scarf around him and tied him up. You go, Morgiana! Morgiana! cried Ali Baba. What are you doing? What are you doing to our honorable guest? This is no honorable guest. Don't you recognize him? He is the captain of the thieves, Morgiana replied, revealing his dagger. At that, Ali Baba and his son seized the dagger and summoned the police, who sent the villain directly to prison. Oh, Morgiana, Morgiana, thank you, thank you, said Ali Baba. We owe you our lives. Marry my son and join our family, for I already care for you like a daughter. From that day on, Ali Baba and his family lived happily ever after. Their children and grandchildren had everything they wanted, for they only had to utter the secret words, Open Sesame! to gain entrance to the hidden caves of riches. The end. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!